Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial for map making with Vscript. So this is a script that I have, that I learned mostly, half of it by myself. Most of it looking at sources to see how it makes and blah blah blah, I don't know. <laughs> then what's to say, apart from it's more slightly better than Hammer when it comes to creating things. This will come in handy from custom texts or functions that are easier to manage for Hammer. So, this is the map I'm creating currently from the PS2 game. Recreating it, not exactly. What I'm doing is I'm adding more things because all the sign back in those days were bad. So, I have this. Sorry about the frame rate and reason. Um, OBS, because this is the only program I can use to record the game and the screen at the same time. So, nothing too fancy here, but the one thing I'm going to show you is a feature that I'm adding in currently to disable or enable the thing. So this will come in handy if you spawn in and select a weapon, then when you restart the game it will memorize it. It's quite simple. You don't need OK knowledge, but at least if you have programming lang language knowledge, then that's pretty good. So let's start off. So I won't be showing you everything from this today, like this, but I'll go over custom messages in an other time. So the two things that you need to know is how to call a function and how to declare a value. This can be set to null, which means nothing. But as long as we declared that it is something, it will work. And also, if you have knowledge of C sharp or C++, I think it is, then you'd already get used to this. But like me, I only am used to uh, Visual Basic, so this is not natural, but I'm getting there. And that's how you declare um, a variable. Variable, there, yeah, right? So the first thing we're going to do is call a function. We're going to call it to go music. Then we need to declare what it is. In this case, let's just disable the music. There's no need for this semicolon here. So what we do is a standard if statement. If music allowed is equal, remember, double, one, then and fire is one of the functions you can use. This is the target. The target will be music generator, which is here. Music generator. Sorry about the pixels. And um, pick random. Remember to add brackets for the main function. Don't know why that's square for you. So. Basically, you're going to enable it if it's working or if you want it on or off. And if it's zero, in this case it's zero, then it will print to the console that it's not playing. It's as simple as that. There's no big acknowledgement of the thing. And to declare, it to work. So you need a logic auto and a logic script as you see here. Manage then add and make sure you save it as a dot not file. Then you select the dot not then OK. Name the script. It's important. Then we go to logic auto here. It's so laggy. 73% CPU man. Um, I'll put then script run code then the function name with a bracket. And that's all you need to do to enable this function. Now I'll show you 
it working in game, so don't need to hammer anymore. Let's like this. MP ignore. That's good. MP1 end. As you see, there's no music currently playing, which is what we want for this. And we get no errors. And if we go through here, there we go. No music is playing. You won't see it because the pixel thing. Sadly, that's because it's native screen for me. Then let's change this right to one. Control save. You don't need to re-add it in. That's a good thing about the script. MP. We start game one. There we go. A 10 second clip of the music from the game. Which is actually pretty decent. It's not that loud, which is pretty good as well. Now, it is generated because we are using a case, logic case, I'm assuming it is. As you see here, what we do is int fire, we got a list of entities that we named, which is why it's important to name your entity if it's possible to name it. Then music generator, then pick random. That's how you lay it out. And it should be generated for the next one, we start game. Same one. Go. Let's go, let's go. There you go. Now you got your music working if you want or not. You can do this to multiple things. Do what you want. Do not know what to say. There's nothing much to say. But I hope you enjoy and I hope you learn something. Boop boop.